of the music because we're going live with a match between FM Toxic and Arctic so what is there to say about that game it will be of course um, for the winner final for the winner bracket final in the ESEA playoffs where we have um, I think more than a thousand euros up for grabs and those two teams have met recently in the regular season and the winner of that match was Arctic. It was just two though and FM Toxic being a source team should have a slight advantage on that map. But let's see how it turns out on this piss round at first. Um, Arctic trying to go to A as it looks like. Yaku is taking point right around the corner on long where he's Waited by RDL and Weber and the push comes in now RDL is the one guy that needs to stop the push RDL Vertigo and Weber with three frags El Mikel and Tim standing El Mikel takes up one But takes down Weber. I think it was too low HP quite not quite finishing him off though and Neil goes down now the Terrorists have got themselves a slight opening in this round, still 50 seconds to go and a 2v3 in favor of the CTs, but RDL and Weber down to 20 and 15 HP, and Tim takes off Weber and RDL as well, so it's only Wendanski standing against those two terrorists in the pistol round, already the round goes back and forth, and now the terrorists need to receive the bomb, or Tim just goes for it, and gets the last frag onto Windanski, his fourth of the round. Thanks to the good work of his teammates, of course, RDL and Weber were free frags, but still a great display of Tim getting those four frags in the pistol round and shutting down FM Toxic after what looked like a promising start in the pistol round for the UK guys. So let's see if Arctic can build up some momentum on this pistol round. FM, of course, on a what I would say echo round but they decided to go with P250s and a Nova in the mix of course helmet and armor as well to put it as much stopping power onto the terrace as possible and Yaku with two entry frags Tim follows it up with one only two CT standing and this round looks to be over already Vertigo and Windanski try to get some frags out of that Vertigo does exactly that with a headshot onto Timotas he gets at least some money damage but Tim was the only one who didn't buy a Galil so the cash damage is not that much at the moment Vertigo picked up his weapon of course and tries to save that for the next weapon uh, for the next round of course while the terrorists are looking for the CTs to take that weapon out of their hands but they can't find anyone the round ends and Arctic takes it to the 2-0 to zero scoreline so the go-to guys for those two teams in the regular season were um, of course Weber, Som and Vertigo for FM Toxic um, I just took a quick peek at the statistics. They um, Weber had 242 kills in the regular season, whereas some and Vertigo had 241 and 239. So close, um, close distance to those two players. And of course, for um, Arctic, it was El Mikel and Yaku with 262 frags and 227. So let's see if those five guys can keep up the numbers and put some damage to the other team. Yaku at the moment just hanging around in the back quarters of A long. A is not really stacked by the CTs. They were all over at B, but now they got a grip on the action. They're rotating already. While the terrorists are making a move, Tim with a first frag onto RDL who was one of the go-to guys as well, of course, for FM Toxic. Now the A bomb site is captured by the terrorists. Everybody has got decent positions and the four CTs try to well again do as much cash damage as they can even though the terrorists still didn't plant the bomb they really take their time this round and now it moves in and should be planted in any second Emron and El Mikel with two frags Vertigo can back pull uh, can pull back one 
but it won't be enough to stop the plant. Wendanski though with some great damage of the P250 into Timotoys gets him down to 11 HP, a possible frag for him and some cash damage dealt as well. Vertigo with a Galil now in hand, picked it, off, uh, picked it up from El Mikel and the terrorists are now moving out of the bomb site, trying to get those exit frags. Was Windanski got taken out by Amron, and the remaining player is Vertigo, who gets shut out by Yaku as well. So no weapon saved for the CTs. FM Toxic needs to buy up everything from scratch this round, and the first gun round will be the deciding factor if FM can get back into the game or if the terrorists will run away with the scoreline. And the terrorists stay with three Galils, so <coughs> they want to get the economy working in their favor already from the start. And Vertigo picked up the AWP, let's see what he's able to do with that. He gets smoked up, so he needs to change his angle. And the terrorists stay away from him for now. They just don't want to risk anyone being killed too easily by that AWP but as possible frag th shows up Tim is right around that corner Vertigo just needs to be patient and he could have an easy frag here in the middle section of the map the terrorists are positioned to attack A one crossed over Vertigo couldn't spot him now he spots Tim he knows he's there he's getting ready for the shot let's see if he can make it while the other players get dropped and he has to pull off from that angle he needs to cover himself because the terrorists have captured the A bomb site. now he smoked up yet again so he can't really do anything with that AWP it's a 4v4 and the terrorists have well they stacked that one side from the over at the bridge at A and they get three frags in a row Vertigo goes down with Nansky, the last one standing with his M4A4 circa and he's just looking to get out of there to be honest gets one frag but knows there should be someone else around there and El Mikel is able to shut him up shut him down with a headshot Arctic closing out that round 4-0 to zero now and the CTs look very bad on the money side and they couldn't really do anything about that attack of the terrorists in this round so great work by Arctic proving the critics wrong when they said that FM Toxic will take this match um, easily so at least we see some real action here A save round of course by the CTs. Weber though with a nice shot onto El Mikel in middle. Takes him out. Maybe they can pick up his weapon as well. So this should be a really nice factor for the CTs. Now the terrorists are pushing into the B bomb site. Timotoys misses RDL. RDL gets the frag. Gets refragged by Yaku nonetheless, but still cash damage dealt to the terrorists. And Weber was able to pick up the AK. So the terrorists really need to watch out now. If Weber gets an entry frag in the bomb site, this might be a potential retake for the CTs. Now Vertigo pushes in with a headshot through the box onto Yaku, takes him out straight away. Timotoys now has to kind of defend himself and Emron and Tim do a great job of doing that. Tim with two, Emron with a covering frag to save his back. And Arctic just pulled themselves out of the swamp on their own hairs. And got themselves the fifth round. Now they are up against the weapon round, the second in this matchup. Let's see if Atom Toxic can build up on this nice echo round and um, and win that next round here. RDL pushing forward into the B area, smoke the doorway up. Just goes for the spray and heads back into the bomb site into the cover of Wundanski's arms. Yaku now pushing forward on A. It's a. It looks like a very obvious A fake, and then the bomb will probably go B. But there's still Wundanski hanging back at B, so the bomb must not move now. Nilsinio with the first frag onto Yaku, but Timotoys with a nice positioning. 
takes him out when he wanted to retreat. Adiel with the next frag, 4 on 3 situation in favor of the CTs. And the bomb is still over at B, so keep your mind on the bomb. When Dansky now battling with Tim, who carries it. So a very important one on one duel going over there at B. While the rest of the terrorists are desperately making their move on A, Weber takes out Timotoy's Emron with a refrag onto Vertigo. But the middle is shut down. The terrorists try to join each other, but Windanski is there waiting for the bomb carrier, takes him out, and Adiel finishes the job with the frag onto Emron. FM Toxic making it 1 to 5, and finally they are on the board. Let's see if. It is the E season, yes. Um, and let's see who's fragging the most at the moment. It is Tim with 8 and 2. IDL with 5 and 5 for the CTs. And, well, it is hard to determine whether this map is CT-sided or terrorist-sided. It is, of course, a, a source port. And... Um, as we see Vertigo taking out Tim, he was kind of surprised there. Um, it is hard to judge. Some people say it's CT favorite. Some people say it's Terrace favorite because the, the bomb sites are so far apart from each other. But then again, it just depends on the teams and what strategies they have in their pockets. And the frags got equalized. Timotheus with a bullet in his in Neil's face makes it 4v3 now. And still no decisive push by the terrorists. 44 seconds on the clock. Now they are moving towards A. And this is the, the bomb site of choice for the terrorists at the moment. They get tagged on the entry, but Jaku with a nice nade takes off Vertigo. Now the bomb site is open. Windanski is the last one standing after Mikel took a Weber and he's probably saving his weapon over at B and you see what I was talking about the rotation is quite long for the CTs Weber is uh, Wendanski is the one who stays at B very long and this kind of cripples the CTs from time to time of course he needs to stay there because um, <coughs> because there's always the possibility of that of that late B plant that Arctic tried in one of the rounds before. So you kinda need that player to secure the terrorists aren't moving in your back. But still you need uh, you could really use the player on the A defense as well. So it's always a gamble on the bomb sites and FM Toxic loses weapon round when Dansky couldn't save his weapon so Arctic back in the driving seat 6 to 1 the scoreline and the money is working in their favor as well. Let's take a look. Uh, they didn't stack that much to be honest, even though they have 4000 on 3 players. So that should be sufficient for the next 2 rounds at least. And Timothy is already capturing the A zone, has got a real trouble here onto Neil Zinio, even though Neil is not even returning fire. Timothy retreats back into the hallway, now tries to go for the headshot, but Neil is still there dancing around, playing with him, showing Timothy he can't really battle him at the moment. And Timothy still can't finish off Neil Zinio. Neil Zinio now. Right around the corner, Timotoy finally gets the frag, almost goes down though, and he's pushed by Wendanski as well, so he needs to watch out. Even though it's a 2v5 situation, there is a possible AK that could be saved for the CTs if Timotoy goes down, and he now reloads, is not aware of Weber in his back. And Weber is just slowly creeping up to him, now he needs to drop and probably is hurt by Timotoy. Turns around and gets a frag, finally, but he had real, real problems there in collecting those two frags. It looked like a real struggle for him, surviving with 2 HP though in the end. And the next weapon round is up, FM Toxic needs to win this, otherwise we will look at an 8 to 1 scoreline with FM Toxic uh, on a bad money situation. So uh, there would be a save probably 
and then there 